guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Stockbrock. Today I am breaking down a company that is reporting earnings on Wednesday of this week before the market opened. Recently listed public company ticker is RZLV on the NASDAQ. It is Resolve AI, focused on bringing advanced AI powered automation to retail and enterprise support sectors. With a rapidly growing presence and ambitious Revenue goals, the company is making headlines in 2025 for its innovative brain suite proprietary set of products targeting both consumer facing and internal business operations. Generative AI or conversational artificial intelligence is a process where we can ask questions of computers and get what we think are intelligent answers. But we have to remember that the answers we're getting are just using mathematical probability based upon all the things that the language model has read, has ingested over the previous years. The problem with that, of course, is that there's a lot of data that it's ingested that is rubbish. Large language models are, are amazing, right? But like any other amazing tech, there are always limitations. One of the biggest limitations of large language models is that the model can drift. Hallucination is a phenomenon where the large language model starts creating information which is factually incorrect. Hallucinations in AI and model drift is a very serious problem and we're just... The company's brainpower LLM and strategy of partnerships with giants like Microsoft, Google and Tether gives it a global enterprise customer reach across retail, e-commerce and internal business operations. The suite's ability to reduce IT and HR ticket volume by up to 70% plus Highly integrated no-code workflow automation is touted as a core advantage. The company claims access to about 90% of the enterprise retail market via strategic partnerships with over 16.5 million monthly active users. All right, so what does Resolve AI do? Their, its core business is its Brain Suite product, which includes Brain Commerce, Brain Checkout, and Brain Assistant modules, all underpinned by its company's proprietary brain power <laughs> large language model. These tools aim to revolutionize retail and e-commerce through real-time AI-driven consumer and customer engagement, personalized experiences, and automation of complex workflows. Beyond Shopping Resolve's uh, platform offers automation for IT and HR employee support integrating with platforms like Microsoft Teams and Slack to streamline service requests, knowledge management, and ticketing. The company also positions its no-code AI native automation as a key differentiator for building scalable IT and HR workflows within the enterprise. Almost impossible to use artificial intelligence in any meaningful commercial engagement. We believe that our technology is the only AI language model in existence today that inherently prevents hallucinations and model drift. You can't rely on something that's faulty, and ours isn't. So with complete ownership of our LLM, we have the flexibility to store information on our secure cloud or on our client's secure infrastructure, providing unparalleled peace of mind for privacy and security with PCI Level 1 compliance. This unique advantage gives us a level of protection that other platforms simply cannot match. Combined with the security, privacy and accuracy elements, which are unmatched in the market elsewhere, Brain is the AI tool you can trust to grow your business. So the latest growth in financials for the company exploded in 2025, processing over 50 billion in gross merchandise value during early 2025 and reporting a hundred actually almost 100 million in annual recurring revenue from over 50 enterprise customers up 182% year over year. Key contracts include a 9.8 million annual deal with Liverpool, one of Mexico's largest retailers. The company's gross margins sits above 80%. High profit margins are great for a business like this. Um, Resolve AI remains unprofitable at the time as it invests heavily in growth and product expansion. In 2024, revenue was only 188,000 with a net loss of 172 million. The dramatic growth in 2025 is partly on the back of its expanded global partnerships and a major market push into Asia and South America. 
So the business model for Resolve AI, they use a mix of subscription licensing, mainly for enterprise support, transaction fees from e-commerce, process through brain checkout, and strategic multi-year partnerships. Its biggest revenue drivers are large enterprise contracts and expansion with global tech partners such as Microsoft and Google, which are expected to drive over 50% of new revenues through. So let's break down some of the risks and opportunities for Resolve AI. And is this a possible buy? So the global addressable market for retail is about $30 trillion and SaaS based support automation is expanding market as well. They have first mover advantage with retail focused AI, processing billions in commerce transaction and support requests. And they have high margins, high scalability, and strong traction in enterprise. Some of the risks, they are still early stage, they're unprofitable, they have a lot of high operating costs and expenses, and they have negative free cash flow. But for early stage company, that's expected. For the conversion of GMV to revenue is not guaranteed. Profitability relies on continued execution and customer expansion. And they also have a dependence on a few key partners like Microsoft and Google, um, which introduces concentration risk, but could also be a benefit in the long run. Uh, so they have their upcoming earnings on Wednesday before the market open. Uh, they do have an expansion plan um, for South America and Asia. The firm's valuation is climbing, but some analysts see it as high risk, high potential and some see it as overvalued compared to established AI SaaS peers. Key focus for quarter four and beyond remains on converting transactions into recurring revenue, sustainable revenue, and narrowing the losses. Resolve AI does stand out as an aggressive AI software contender in retail and employee support with rapid growth and global ambitions. But carrying the volatility and execution risk of a fast growing, not yet profitable tech firm may be a little difficult in choppy waters. This is Stock Rock. Thanks for watching. Peace.